Well, <laughs> not really catching anything, but I guess there you go. It's Flathead Lake, Montana. It is uh, unbelievably crystal clear water. Uh, right now, it's a little bit it's a little bit smoky out from some of the wildfires, but um, you can still see the mountains around you. It's kind of cool. No fish yet. The fishing's been a little slow this spring, according to some of the locals. Looking for some lake trout, and they also have whitefish here. Um, they both feed on a freshwater shrimp that was introduced years ago. Um, I don't know the entire story to it, but the lake trout are actually an invasive species that ended up eating all the shrimp and I believe all the bull trout that were in the lake. That's why the bull trout are now actually protected. You can't keep any of them if you do catch them. Um, so yeah, would love to catch some. You can eat them sushi, which is my way, um, my plan, if I do catch one, either the whitefish or the lake trout. So we've got two lines in the water. One is way at the bottom. We're at almost 86 feet. And then the other one I've got at like 25, 30 feet. Crank that one up a little bit. It's a gorgeous night. Let's see if we can catch anything. So this is what we got. It's a big old, I think it's like three quarter ounce. Um, we got a spoon, a lot of flash on it, and then you put some shrimp scented goodness, and there's a little fly just up from there. Or so they say. Okay, uh, I just hooked up. <laughs> kind of unexpected here. Uh, okay, I think it's a decent fish. Feels like a decent fish. Uh, thankfully, I got my net out earlier. Oh my gosh. Oh man, my heart is racing. My heart is racing. It feels, it feels decent. Try to get this one in out of the way. I have no idea what to expect. I'm assuming it's a lake trout. Um, could be a whitefish. I do not know. Whatever it is, it feels pretty good. See some air bubbles coming up. You know, oh, I see color. Oh my gosh, that's a good looking fish. Oh. oh, please let me get this fish in. Please let me get this fish in. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Check out this fish. Oh my god. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, let me see if I can get that. Oh my god. Check it out. According to the live well, he is about 30 inches long. Well, uh, I caught a lake trout. That was kind of unexpected. I can't believe it. Um, what a blast. Here he is. Nice, decent little fish. Look at this thing. Gonna head in right now, see if we can get some pictures. Sharon's gonna get some pictures. I mean, healthy looking fish. And back in the live wall here. Come on, bud. There we go. Wow, what a blast. Um, yeah, this trip's been interesting. I haven't actually got to do nearly as much fishing as I was thinking I would, but uh, today I actually got to come out on Flathead and do some fishing, and we were out earlier, it was kind of hot, so I took Sharon and Gunner back in, decided to come out and uh, throw a couple of these spoons out and see what happens, and 
actually got bit. So. feet of water let's see if we can do it again so another thing I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier uh, today I think it was a high of like 85 and it was just because it was overcast today and it was actually one of the only days that it's been in the 80s since we've been in Montana and we've been here for like two and a half weeks it has been 95 to 99 we saw 102 or 103 degrees one day it's been pretty crazy so wasn't a lot of fishing to do didn't really get to do any hiking because again it was just so hot so today we actually got to get out on the water <clears throat> actually caught a fish can't believe it um and yeah i'm back out the sun is just about to go behind the mountains it'll stay daylight for another 45 minutes to an hour enough to easily fish for another 45 minutes to an hour so holy cow we got another fish on. I can't believe it. I got another fish on. <laughs> well, uh, stay with me here. Uh, stay with me. I've got a fish on. I got a fish on. We are almost, almost the same spot that we caught the other one. I can't believe it. Oh, oh that's a nice looking fish. Oh, that's a nice looking fish. <gasps> Check it out! Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. So these guys are a little harder to pick up than your average redfish. So I think what we're gonna do is get him in the live well, show it out, and then I'll show you guys. We got another one. Can't believe it. <laughs> All right. This, this is what's doing it. I'm not even sure exactly what it's called. I could get the box out and tell you, but uh, this thing with a dab of lunker lotion, shrimp of the shrimp variety, bounce it on the bottom. And no, nobody told me to do that. Everybody has told me completely the opposite of that. I was out here earlier and I saw a few marks, or what I thought were marks on the bottom, and I decided, well, what the heck, might as well fish on the bottom. And that's what I did. And so far, it has landed me two fish. So it just goes to show, you do not know, you do not need to know what you're doing. You just gotta be persistent. This is awesome. All right, we got, we got another fish on. We got another fish on. This is number three. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. This has turned into a really fun day. I was just hoping to come out here and have a good time on the water. And this is number three. I don't have him in the boat yet, but this is number three today. And this one feels pretty good. Yeah, this is, this is fun. <laughs> oh. My boy is taking drag. Oh, he is taking drag. All right. Well, we're going to have to work this one a little bit. Woo. All right. By the way, this is uh, on a brand new combo. Um, the only reason it's brand new is because I broke my rod and had to take it in to get a new one. And I broke the reel and had to take it in to get a new one. So we broke it in right today. This is number three. If we can get this one to the top, this, uh, this one's a little bigger, I think. This one's a little bit bigger. I was honestly hoping for a few that are like under 20, inch or 20 inches because the big ones 
supposedly have more mercury in them and you're not supposed to, oh my. Oh, I don't know if I have a big enough net. Okay. Wow, he's not that much bigger, but he's a fighter. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Let's check this fish out. Check out this fish. These are absolutely gorgeous lake trout. Look at the colors on this fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's number three. Okay, um, if I understand correctly, you can have 20 a day. Um, don't ask me why. That sounds crazy to me, but I've got a freezer. I can put three fish in the freezer. Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, we did. We got one. That was funny. Uh, I've definitely never fished like this before. We're fishing in 80 feet of water and I'm calling the fish as I'm catching them. That's, that's new. I can watch them come up on the graph. The water is so clear. You can, you can see down probably a good 40 feet, 30 at least. things uh, do not give up easily. This is nuts. Okay. That's number four. I mean, to say that this was unexpected would be the understatement of the year. I can't, I still can't get over it. Check it out. I was hoping to catch maybe one or two. I've got four beautiful lake trout in the live well. I believe the limit is 20 a day, so I think four will do it just fine for me. It's probably more than I need, but I've got space in the freezer, and I pulled this boat 2,000 miles to get to this lake, so I don't feel bad pulling four fish out of it. Uh, it has been quite a challenge to even get on the water. The temperatures have been insane. Uh, thanks again for um, Chris and Lori for letting us stay at your guys' place. Uh, talk about a lifesaver during this crazy heat. But yeah, I'm glad I came out. I'm glad I had fun. Uh, it was quite the experience. I think we're gonna move on tomorrow, but well, I think one day was, was, just, was just what I needed. All right, guys. Hope you had fun. I know I did. See you on the water.